Morning, Jonathan Perdano, JP. Here to do a little bit of a review on the new patrol vest from Patagonia. You can see without anything in it, it packs up real tight. I just got this. This is the 2022-23 version just released. Um, I've not been enjoying the backpack pushing me out so far in the chair, so I decided to try out a vest. You can see there's quite a few pockets on the front, radio pocket over here on this side with some Velcro inside of it. On the bottom part of the front, two big pockets, a little bit of a place to stick your hands on the inside here. On the back side, there is a pocket which can be accessed from the top or the side. So a big pocket going all the way across the back. And then on the bottom, there is a separate pocket on the inside. So let's show you what the inside looks like. When you open it up, on the bottom inside, there's a zipper right there, which goes all the way up the back. All the way up the back, which is separate from that back pocket. Then there's also some stow pockets on the inside, both on the left side and the right side. So that's kind of what the pockets look like. So first impressions, um, there are some things that were mountain bike related that I was using this summer in my backpack that I didn't put in the vest. Uh, but you can see like the backpack definitely takes up a lot more space when you're trying, when, even when it's empty. Um, so I think this will be a little bit less room in my bag when I go to put it away. Um, one of the things I didn't like about the backpack was just that radio, there is a radio clip right here on the new one um, and so that's nice taking the backpack off I clip the radio onto the backpack and then when you take the backpack off to get stuff another nice thing that I just noticed is you're able to get stuff um, so I've got some snacks some tools in this pocket heat warmers um, those pockets I was talking about before they're not really pockets but if it was a, a warm day and I wanted to like take my gloves, and shove them someplace, I think this was a complaint about some of the other vests that you didn't have any like pockets um, on the side. So it's not really a pocket. It's more so just a hole for you to slide something, but I'd be pretty comfortable um, just working on a scene. If I had to tuck something away and didn't want to set it in the snow, I could tuck my gloves in there. Um, the pockets are pretty nice. You're able to get in and kind of see what's in there tucking the stuff in I'm able to get into all the pockets and then in the back I put uh, we'll see how comfortable this is um, but in the back I put you know a sp little splint board chicken wire duct tape uh, board um, so I've got that on the back right now with uh, I've got a bag of bed sheets in the bag that it came in so that's also in there because um, right now I just you know, it's kind of taken the whole weight and spread a little more evenly. Um, I wear an extra large jacket and I ordered the extra large size vest. And I'm pretty happy with how all this stuff fit in from my backpack into the vest. Um, you know, I got to go through it. It's the beginning of the season and double check that I got everything that I need. Um, but overall, with how this stuff fit, I'm pretty happy with it so far. All right, so um, a couple things some people pointed out. This is a darker color red than uh, the rest of the other vests. I'm not sure uh, with the new Patagonia if this darker um, darker red color is the same as the newer jackets, um, but it is a much darker color red than uh, some of the previous versions. Um, the pockets, stuff and stuff there is nice. And then I ended up taking my split and using that center one up the back. Um, and then one thing people were wondering is if this is uh, waterproof. It was kind of a wet day today, so I'm not sure. We'll see. Kind of beads up a little bit. The zippers are more of a taped zipper, um, so it does look like it's sealed. I've got some, some paper towels in there, so we'll see. See how much water gets in there. Hmm. 
paper towel seems pretty dry, so at least resistant for a little bit of water. Um, yeah, so it seems pretty dry. Um, it holds everything that I had in my backpack. Um, not really sure where stuff is gonna go, uh, but for the first day having it, I kind of moved. There's some Velcro inside of here. Um, so you can see that Velcro. And there's this little strap inside. So if you want the radio to be a little bit higher up, you can move that around. And then this other chest pocket, they've got some Velcro here on the cross. Um, I've got some pinned um, badges for my old jacket. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to pin this or get some Velcro stuff for that. Um, but this chest pocket was kind of nice for little tools, pens, note taking stuff, having your flashlight quick and easy, accessible. Um, so I've got kind of tools there and then medical supplies more on the bottom with the bandages. It does add a, uh, a little bit of kind of around the belly a little bit. So it does kind of add a little bit front to back, but riding it on the chairlift, it was a lot more comfortable than riding with a backpack. So if you haven't joined Team Vest yet, I would uh, say try out one of your friend's vests, but I've been enjoying it on the first day so far. Thanks for watching.